Alright everyone, so we just made it indoors. This place is trashed up. But there's everything and I know you guys love to see everything still inside and I do too. So there's postcards here sent from her family members saying like happy birthday grandma I love you and everything. Dude, they they loved her a lot, she that's for sure. Yeah. It was like a yeah, grandma. Is that grandma? It's like shivering too. Dude, like you look frozen. Right, if he gets possessed, we, we jump in that. Yo, what is going on today, Ronin Army? Hope you guys have been doing well. If you're new around here, my name is Steve Ronin, and we go on Epic Avengers every single week. Don't forget to subscribe, and most importantly, hit that notification button bell. Today's video, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different. I'm gonna be combining two explorers into one whole video. The reason why is because these two places share a lot of similarities. One, they belong to an early couple from the 1950s. The husbands both passed away and the wives became widows. And number three, these two homes were abandoned between the years 2010 and 2015. And number four, these are time capsules. Everything is literally left inside. It seems like no one has moved anything or touched anything. That's just how incredible it is. It's legit frozen in time. Another thing too is that both of these grandmothers were being taken care of in their homes before they passed away. What's really sad about these two homes for me is the fact that they were just left abandoned. Um, I don't know if these homes were inherited by their families, but it's never been taken care of. Everything is just overgrowing and decaying. It's really strange to me though because these two grandmothers or these two family members were very loved by their family. There's just so many postcards from the grandkids, from their from their kids saying how much they love them. Now, before we begin the adventure, I just want to make sure you guys don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. This is probably premiere right now, and I'm probably chatting around in the chat, so come say hi. Um, the more thumbs up this video gets during the premiere, the more YouTube will notify about this video. So yes, let's hit that thumbs up, and without further ado, let's begin. Now, really quick, I just want to say a big thank you to our newest patron supporters of the week. Shout outs to Joanna Eden, Stacey Van Patten, and Lori K. If you also wish to support the channel, definitely over to the Patreon link in the description to earn some perks and your shout out for next week's video. With my boy Colin right here. What's up guys? He's a local from my state. He's also a mass hole. So yeah, this is our first time meeting up. You know, mass hole's gotta stick together. And Always bro. <laughs> yeah, so we, we both haven't explored this house ever and the funny thing is is i passed by this street a bunch of times but i never decided to even come here but uh my boy says it's good the story about it is also really crazy so i figured it'd be an amazing video for you guys going down the street and seeing this off the side of the road you know this place is abandoned oh yeah dude check out the chimney though definitely old bro yeah I don't even know if we can get inside. It's so overgrown. But yeah, I love how the, the house looks too. Super small and cozy. They even had a garage over here. We can't get in through the outside, but we'll definitely be able to get in through the inside. It's to be a path and you can't even tell anymore. Guys, you've been loving the band homes and mansions and houses. I just did one last week. So be sure to check it out too. That place was also lit. But before we enter the house, we're gonna have to take a look around. I know most of the places I do, I only show the inside, but now I kind of want to show the exterior. I feel like the exteriors of places are also important. This is the backyard. Look how overgrown it is. Absolutely ridiculous. I think we're definitely gonna have to go through the front to get in. Windows are open. weird I don't think a car would be able to go through here unless there was another road over here what's that a garden like a greenhouse wow there it is 
it's been said the owner did used to love planting flowers. This is probably her little garden. Alright everyone, so we just made it indoors. This place is trashed up. But there's everything and I know you guys love to see everything still inside and I do too. So I'm glad it's like this. Collins already been filming. Oh yeah. Dude. Wow. It's a, it's a small cozy home. But here's the creepy thing about this place is that there's a picture of Colin here. Dude, I can't believe you're comparing me to that. <laughs> I see this, but we got some bullets. I mean, there's a gun around here. This is awesome. We can take like a glimpse, a better glimpse of the person's life. The person who used to live here was named Betty. Has lived in blank for about 60 plus years. She has always lived nearby, blah, blah, blah. Not, she's 91 years old as of this year. Holy crap. I wonder what year. She loves animals, but no hobbies, only work and housework and reading the paper. Parentheses sad. Why is that sad? If you're 91 years old, I feel like that's what you would normally do. Does not like to travel, like being home. Has lived in this house for 37 years, but doesn't realize the most of the time. It says here, people in her life. She was married to Bill. He died approximately 22 years ago. Years ago, that's like 71 years old, like 69 years old was when Bill passed away. He would be 101 years old if he were alive today. They had a nice successful family business doing private taxi. I don't, I don't know if that would be sexual nowadays. We got Uber. They would have been out of business right now. Her mother and father are also buried. She asked how long ago they died. This is a lot to read guys. You can just pause the screen right now if you want to take a good read on this. I could go on and on. This talks about her friends and her life. Oh what? Looks like Betty had a black cat. She likes the house very hot. Uh, I, I could not do that. I mean, the house very cold. Look, it's talking about security issues. Betty has paranoia issues. Fears being burglarized and robbed. Wants to have a gun for protection. Thankfully, she does not have one. I don't think this person knew that she probably did have one hidden because we just found bullets. There's alarms. This is so amazing to just read. Kind of makes this house a little bit better because we're not really exploring a place that's unknown to us anymore. But I hope you guys like those reads. Definitely a cool find. If you've been enjoying the video so far, smash the thumbs up button, guys. Yo, guys, there's a thousand dollar check right here. I'm gonna blur it out, but like, damn, $1,000 from 1994. I don't think it could be in good use right now. Would have came in handy for times like this. Oh, I can already see some mold growing on the ceiling over here. I wonder why there's so many clothes. Was this like a bedroom downstairs? Ugh. So many clothes in here. Big closet. That's a nice looking wardrobe. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a photo right there. I'm gonna get out of this room. I don't know if it's just my mind playing tricks on me, but I was already like tasting something in my mouth just walking through there. Guys, I'm gonna save the living room for last. This looks like the best part. I just love how pristine it looks right now. Probably Urban Explorers uh, tied the place up for a photo over here. We're gonna take a look at the other rooms first. Like this kitchen. We got a painting right here on the wall. Could be a famous painting, you don't know. This looks like it could have been maybe up in New York or New Hampshire. Huh, abandoned house sign-in sheet. 
Let's see who's been here. I've never heard of them. But someone was here in, in April. And someone was here on June. Hell's Gate. What, the, the freezer? I don't really want to open it if it says Hell's Gate on it. Kitchen is pretty nice. Oh, I wonder what's this? Oh, these are essential oils. Or maybe these essential oils was used by the owner to make perfumes. That's my guess. I can't even pick one up. It's like sticking right on it. Take a look at this one. That's pretty neat. I've never seen something like this before. I can hear something in that little attic. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a cute little kitchen. Ew. Oh, there's the basement. We'll check that later. There's another room. Looks like this could have led to the garage. Alright, walking down over here. Look, it's a painting. Looks like it was hand painted. But there's another garage over here. Oh well, this this place is still a cool time capsule. Look, there's clothes in here. Yeah. Nothing interesting over there? Nah, just some more containers and a bunch of clothes and glass stuff. I just found some cinnamon right here. <laughs> oh, no, it still smells like cinnamon, bro. Dude, yeah. You got that pop? That was cool, dude. I did get that pop. <laughs> dude, this is probably airtight for like 20 plus years. Yeah, because the owner died 22 years ago. Yeah, the cinnamon like, oh, smell wow. is not bad at all. That is good, dude. I'm going to start doing this and like throw it in my room, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll leave it open. Maybe it'll smell better in here. Yeah, literally, dude. It's macaroni. <laughs> this is pop, though. This is definitely not fresh. Yeah, now nah, it looks black now all moldy and shit dude yeah Ugh. yeah so Colin and I we just made it to the living room we're gonna go check this place out this area right here has so many things to even see I don't want to go through it quickly I, I don't want to miss anything about it there's so many like cool little small stuff in here here by the fireplace which by the way looks pretty dang good I mean there's still wood right there we can we can legit have a fire right now but uh yeah we're not yeah yeah look you even got the blow fan I like how it looks too you know back in the day how they used to start fires and stuff with those right yeah what they would just do it right here or something or Actually, yeah, no, they just do it here. I wonder if it still works. Yeah, it's still blowing air and there's like no holes on it. This thing works perfectly. You can legit start a fire right now. But yeah, definitely not a good idea to start a fire in a abandoned building. I like the painting, so. This look like, this is like it was drawn. There's a signature. Take a look at their backyard. Super overgrown. I can't believe we're trying to walk through here. Cause looking at it now from above, there's no way we could walk through this. I mean, there's bees everywhere on the flowers. Probably got stung, but I wonder what else could be down there. They could have had a shed. Who knows? That's a voice recorder. I think it still plays. It takes batteries, right? You don't have any, is there any spare batteries? double A batteries, right? Imagine, imagine if we found one. Dang, that, yeah, that would be really cool. 
Look, there's like some encrypted message like before. But That'd be yeah, scary. It's like if you find this. He's like, if you find this, I passed away in this time. He's like, there's this downstairs behind there's you. There's a million like, dollars oh downstairs <laughs> in my secret safe. Dude, <laughs> All the more reasons that this could be saying there's a secret safe downstairs or somewhere in this house. There's so many keys that we've been seeing. And look how dusty this table is. That's how you know no one has really been in here. <laughs> there's a side. Yeah, bless this mess. It's like the, the owner knew this was going to happen. <laughs> yeah, at least he blessed this mess, guys. Before she passed away. Look, we got a photo here. Oh, like an elderly woman used to live in here. So, I don't think this picture has her in it. Could have been her kids, her grandkids. Who knows? We got some photos. Looks like a kid. Could have been like the grandkid. And some more photos right here. These are black and white. So I think this is actually the, the people that used to live here when they were young. And that could have been her husband too. Wait, there's a message right here. Yes, I am the original happy, happy face. What's that supposed to mean? I think this was uh, some sort of perfume right here. You know, seeing those essential oils, I feel like the perfume could have been like homemade. It could have been like a hobby of hers. Yeah, for real. Why is that a thing? I've always found dolls really, really creepy. Oh, there's batteries in here, but they're old. They're not the right size. Oh man, that sucks. That hasn't been open either. No, I know those would have been. What size are they? We could use these batteries. Dude, I think those are triple, and the other ones are double. Dang it. Look at all these VHS's down here, dude. This was like for an this was like for an AC unit. Really? Yeah. I think so. Like I think there's like right there in the kitchen. I think that's an AC. Look at this. He just got he just got this creepy doll right here, just chilling on the couch, right when you just come in. It's kind of strange. Like it's like as if this doll now lives here. Whoa, that's weird. Look at the hands. Why why do dolls have to be super, super creepy? Especially this one, like... This one almost seems like it's like... Piercing through my soul. Could have been like the owner's favorite doll for all we know. Some say spirits do get trapped in objects. But no creepy things have been happening around us right now. I mean... Like the feet and the legs, they're like all stitched up, almost if it's like a, a voodoo doll. And right here are a few other things, like VHS tapes. I think these are blank too. There, there's some movies here though. Let's see what, let's see what they could be watching. Could have been their, like their favorite movies. We got the bear. Instructions and recipes. This is why I love exploring abandoned houses. You just find these little small things that you normally wouldn't think about. But, I mean, for you guys watching, you guys probably have like your favorite movies, right? So, like, these were probably her favorite movies that she would watch all the time. So, you can kind of tell like a person's character by what they watch. Got the Searchers, John Wayne and John Ford, the Western classic. Dang, I thought this was Clint Eastwood. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Also have some books right here. The Grasshopper Trap. The Wonderful Fathers. Oh, look at this! It's a photo of like a family gathering. Got some drawings up here. Thank you. Looks like kids' drawings. Maybe the grandkids. What's this up here? It's like a note for our high school reunion. We found more bullets. We found a small one that I just showed, and look, 
It's the big one. Yeah, she got a stop pile, bro. She probably has like a, like an armory or something in Dude, here. Maybe the basement's gonna have some dark secrets, bro. I mean, those papers did say like she was often paranoid and she wanted a gun. And then in parentheses, the caretaker was like, luckily she doesn't have one. one bro. Yeah, definitely, bro. Could be underneath these like these junk, but if I were to hide a gun, it'd probably be down in the basement. So we're gonna go there right now. Oh no, dude. This is gonna be terrifying. Oh, we hit a cobweb. Oh, I'm eating spiders right now, bro. Dude, I'm glad you're first then. Oh, Walking down lot, here. <laughs> Leading so much. Oh, there's a back door in right there. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, leading to the back. What's oh, so bad down here? Oh, yeah, it's really. Gun so it's really bro. bad. I don't know. It's over there, just own storage stuff. Yeah, I don't think there's really anything. I guess. Fit over there, nah. Maybe this is some of the washing batteries or something. Yeah, there's just like two closets. Nothing really over here. <laughs> Yo, Betty. <laughs> Betty's you're fucking murder, stuff dude. up. Betty's not messing around. <laughs> yeah, Betty is now messing around. Is this like. What? It's like an old like, animal, bro. Animal? What's the fur? Oh, that's a t taxidermy. It's like an animal rug. Oh, damn! I wish that wasn't trashed. Dude, Betty be working out too. She probably like had some past where like. Dude, maybe she was. She like, messed someone up, and like she's worried like someday like the person might come back, and she was like training all her life to like. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a movie right now. Like. <laughs> no, it's just straight out of a movie. It's crazy. Some it's Bill's workshop, dude. Maybe enjoy, <laughs> you know, making stuff as a hobby. Yeah, making guns. <laughs> <laughs> Should be weapons, making weapons bro. down here. Jeez. All jokes aside, like, this is pretty cool. This is actually a very nice basement, bro. Yeah. Pretty well kept, you know? I mean, this is probably more so, like, the husband's... Area. Yeah. Is, yeah. I don't think they would be working these big tools. No, she was just making candles and scents, I guess. Yeah, yeah there's no car. Imagine if I was here, that'd be so nice. Yeah. Dude, what kind of spiders are these, though? Hope they're not poisonous. They're on steroids, bro. Yeah, they're pretty big. Hopefully they're not like black widows or brown widows. Little things hurt. Something new every second, bro. Yeah, seriously. This house definitely packs. We're gonna head out of this room now. The suitcase under there. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Should go through this room. There's one little room here. What's over there? It's like a little library. There's a lot of books. Yo, that's, that's cool. It's like a giant world map. Really? Well, they did like the mounds and stuff upstairs we saw. Yeah. Hmm. I'm not really seeing anything too special in here. Yeah. Is that a unicorn? Something. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, that is a unicorn. I'm sure you guys are familiar with this place behind me. We got the abandoned Grand Torino and the Victorian Mansion right over there. Now I'm not doing this video again. I just came back here to do some photos on a nice cloudy day because the first time I came here it was too bright and sunny and we had the sunlight just beaming and it was too overexposed because of it. So I got some amazing photos of this place. Go check it out on Instagram, link down in the description. I actually came here to take my friends and show them this place because it's absolutely amazing. So I'm just waiting on them to get done right now with their photos. But right after this, there's another abandoned house that I found out about only a few minutes away. So we're gonna go head there in a bit. 
Hey, pumpkin spice today. Yes, we are. Right, we're begging for pumpkin oh, yeah. spice. We've yeah, been no, waiting here. Uh, Matt is the one that's been uh, going inside the house taking photos. Yep. Right, he's not really into that, but I'm he's really. on this adventure today. I am on an adventure. And we got Matt over here. You guys have seen him from the previous videos. What's up? Dude, crazy in there. Yeah, I know. It's a gem. I, I set up the, uh, the chair and the Ragged Ian doll with like a briefcase. Oh, seriously? Yeah. Nice, oh, nice. Set up. That's dope. Right after this, there's a ten. Uh, there's another band house ten minutes away. Yeah. yeah, we'll hit it. Now I already did a video on this uh, a few weeks ago. Go check it out. Click it right up here. Incredible time capsule place. Definitely coming here every season. I'm gonna come here during the fall and winter. All right, so we're pulling up to the bando. Oh yeah, let's do it. Yeah, look at this. Do we just go to the front? Maybe we, maybe it's in the back. There you are, Matt. Yeah, we went ahead of Matt and went to go get Dunkin's. Yeah, we got pumpkin spice lattes. Love pumpkin spice. You missed out. Apple flavor, I know. I should have told you to just come. Yeah, it's with us. Have you have you gone inside yet? Nah, I'll wait. I had to. Yeah. I'm all energized up on pumpkin spice. Let's do it. Let's That's go. a bad thing. Is that a bad thing? That is a very bad thing. Crap, I might get us caught. <laughs> nah, I don't think we need it. Oh, you're in trouble. We're true either. explorers, Radic. Right? Like, we breathe this stuff. Oh god. We become part of it. <laughs> get us killed? <laughs> I need to get my flashlight though. Yeah, it's really dark in there. Same. I just forget it. We already got signs of things. The I think this would be a true yeah. time. Oh, that's a TV. Oh, right? Shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's an old TV. Old TV. We probably recognize it. 60s, I think mean, 70s. Now. Watch your head. Oh, yeah. What is this? Oh, okay. That was easy. That was good. Oh, this is cool. Yeah. Old uh, dish. There's a lot of cobwebs, bro. Oh, wow. You're gonna walk into that. Bro, I'm not, I'm not screwing around with spiders anymore. <laughs> After what happened. I know. Wait, show them the scar. You can still kind of see it, but um, Matt over here, you got bit by a brown recluse. Mm-hmm. Yep. Am I saying it right? Recluse? Yeah. Rec Recluse? Yep. Got a bit in uh, Newport. Yeah, while well, exploring. We're exploring the Pink House mansion. Yeah. And I was scouting, like sitting down for a shot. Uh huh. All of a sudden, I got this bite. You didn't even feel the bite. I didn't feel the bite. Like nothing. And the next day. That's some scary stuff while exploring, next day guys. Just kinda... I've, I've never gotten bitten by anything. But at least like not a spider while exploring, thank god. This suitcase so is pretty neat. Where they filmed the conjuring house. No, no, no. Because that's really the thing. Looks like the conjuring house. Oh, but the basement is very similar. These look like they came from like the 1950s. I mean, I, don't, I have no idea. I'm just thinking According to Radic. If I'm wrong, right. this is hey. Radic. No, 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 no. <laughs> Over here. Oh, it's um, a water tank, I believe. Yeah, a giant boiler. <laughs> What's up, guys? Look, just come up here Everyone's in like, shock right now. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, this is like yeah, all set up. Look, look at here, look at here. Floor's not even that dirty. Look here. They've got everything. Everything. Yeah, everything. The TV. Everything the is in Dude, even the photos. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, man. This is the, probably the lady that used to live here. What? Medicine, too. The microwave. Look at that it's microwave. It's abandoned grandma's house. That is the that's the title. The pumpkin spice definitely hyped us up. This place is amazing though, right guys? Like Absolutely everything is still here, like nothing I didn't expect nothing was I moved. this would be empty and everything would be gone. Bro, it's like wrong. nothing was has been moved nothing in so long. All. She probably passed away here. Yeah. She oh, probably God. died in that bed because her glasses are there too. Right. All right, I think I'm gonna start here in the kitchen. We have so much to go through right now. It's a small little house, but there's so many little tiny things. This bedroom is probably my favorite. Such as this TV. It's a okay, Philip Magnavox. Her, her head, her head you know what? I think Urban Explorers definitely came here and cleaned it up, though. <laughs> More plates right over here and some cups. I'm really loving this clock. That 
that this place doesn't really have a lot of cobwebs or it's not really in decay but it's been so but it's been abandoned for so long so i don't know how it's staying up like this i think these were set up by urban explorers or they could have just been like this throughout the years this place is literally untouched and look we got some photos here yeah, it's a little bit strange. Like nothing is really in bad shape. This kitchen led the door here led outside. Wow. Yeah, you know what? I definitely think that this place was just left like this throughout the years. Maybe recently abandoned too, because nothing is really decaying that bad. There's some little neat things around here. Like this is really cool, you don't see this often. It has all the precedence. Honestly, I love exploring abandoned homes, especially like this time capsule homes. And I Radic, what are you doing hiding in that I corner? I see this, look at that. Mold? Oh, no, it's no. really nice. Oh yeah. The design. Oh my like, gosh. I totally missed it when I saw you tying the camera yeah. just, well, like a little bit ago. That's cool. I looked over up here and I saw that. That's yeah, some nice wallpaper. It's really nice wallpaper. Just tiny little touches like that. Little ducks. Yeah. Little the ducks and the geese. What? Whatever that means. My kitchen prayer. Bless my little kitchen, Lord. I love it every nook. And bless me as I do my work. Wash pots and pans and cook. But most of all, thy love. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. That's pretty awesome, but you know what? I bet her cooking was bomb. It must have been, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she's got her recipes right here, Steve. You can take them. No oh, wait, there's some rep We yeah, got some grandma yeah. recipes here. Yeah, banana yeah, bread, um, beef julian over fine. here. Yeah? yeah? Yeah, Beef julian. I don't think I've ever had that That's before. I don't know what that is, Matt. You know what that is? It's like a beef, like a... Beef tender ham. Yeah, beef tender. It's like, right. it's beef's really str like strong and like hard. It's not like... Regular, like, steak. Yo, we should like start a restaurant with all her recipes. Call it Grandma's house. Yeah. What up, Grandma? How you doing? What's up? Steve? How you doing? Yo, yo, yo. Look at that Grandma's recipes over here. It makes me want to like cook it and see how it tasted. For real, man. I wish we had the time to do that. That's what I'm saying. Maybe someday. Like, like, got the stove like, right here. Yeah. Like, Probably right still here. works too. Maybe I don't want to try. I wonder it. if there's power. Have we? Have we, we, we tried to test switch? It. We didn't test it yet. No. Yo, should we open the refrigerator? Oh, Always a bad I mean, idea. Steve, it's all on you, bro. It's okay, on okay, you. okay. Here we go. We're staying back here. We're you can shine. You can shine the light. <laughs> shine the light for me. I am shining the light for you. Okay. You have two, three lights. I'm, I'm scared, bro. Oh, 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 empty? oh, it's empty. Okay. I don't know. We're there's safe. like, there's some weird thing. Right, there. I don't wanna. Okay. Uh, no, we're not touching. Hold on. <laughs> I gotta zoom in. I gotta oh, find out oh, what was that. Zoom in. No, oh, there is something left. There's a can. Can? Yeah, no, that's not bad. Oh, At least it's not like rotting meat. It could be right. inside of it. And we got another cookbook right here. Cornbread. <laughs> you guys can take these recipes for yourself. Chicken Parmesan. Quick marinara sauce. Let's move on to the dining room. Yeah, it's, it's raining so bad today. It's gray clouds, so it's pretty dark inside here. Oh, look, that's her and her like family. Yeah. And then her medicine too. Yeah, her medicine's just left right there. I'll probably blur out some things. Some things are meant to be left private, but there's a photo of her. Yeah, grandma. Is that grandma? That's grandma. Dad, that is the grandma. Let's check out this little drawer. Oh, these are all like coins and pennies in here. All the cups and plates are still here. Grandma's shoes. You don't kick around grandma's shoes. No, we haven't checked the other side, but there's definitely a contrast once you enter these rooms. You can see the walls are made of wood now. Super nice here though. I think this, this room was definitely meant for more of like relaxing. Maybe a little library was here because there's been books I've been seeing all around. I mean, you got a nice cozy fireplace too. Oh, look. 
It's a drawing of a horse. There's the, there's the artist that did it. B Simmons. This could have been like, maybe she owned her own horse. And this was one of them. <laughs> Check this out. There's a little, little window that leads to the kitchen here. Which really comes in handy. Oh no. I like this abandoned home. But it sucks to see something like this, like the window breaking apart. Because who knows when nature will just devour this place. It'll probably be like another five years till this home gets more decayed. I'm just running this up there. A little drawer that's blocking the door to the porch. I wonder why. Oh, we're gonna have to move this. I kind of want to check out the porch. There's there's more books right here. And a magazine dating back to February 1987. Kind of getting clues of when this place was abandoned. And look at this. Some more books. I think I was right that this room was used as like a little library or some place to just relax a little bit more because I found a stack of books. I'm not really familiar with any of these books. Let me know down in the comments if you've read any of these. Just move this, we're gonna go check the porch. This is nice. It's a pretty big porch. Little pillow, maybe people would just sleep outside here. Maybe a dog. If she had one. She was a smoker though. But look, take a look at this. This place is so old. You were able to just walk out of here. You can't even see the steps. Yeah, she just sat here and she'd just be chilling and smoking. The only thing that lives here now is the bird. The bird's nest right there. Hey, let's take a look at this room. Oh, this is like a guest room, I think. The reason why I say is because there's like a lot of kid things on it. Maybe the grandkids would come here for a weekend. Oh, there's some photos. These, these could have been her grandkids. Yo, guys. There's something in this bedroom. Something, I can hear noises coming out from this other bedroom. Really? Yeah. yeah. Like that bedroom over there, right behind you. You heard noises? Yeah. From this bedroom? Really? I guess there's nothing. I thought it was you guys, but you guys were talking in the other room. No, we were just yeah. talking about the porch and everything, because it's like a beer can outside. Maybe I'm just hearing things. We got a closet right here. This little alleyway that connects to every single room. Oh wait, this looks like it could have been a bathroom at one point, but someone smashed the sink. Moment of truth. There's power in no, here. No, there isn't. Because look, if you turn it on, it's just going to spark up. You think so? Or, I don't know. I really don't want to know. Nope. No, nothing. nothing. Alright, right. maybe we should touch it and see. <laughs> it's all you, right? <laughs> no. Oh, here's a big, big TV. This is connected to the guest rooms that we just saw earlier. Nice. Here's another bathroom. Oh, I like the shower curtains. Those are really, really cute. You can open it up and it would lead to the porch. Get some fresh air in here. Yeah, I can't believe just everything is left in here too. Oh, what the hell? Someone dumped a lot of things in the bathtub. I like the colors and the tiles. It's really cute. Huh? 
I'll check it in a bit. Now I think we found Grandma's bedroom. This is definitely her room. It's bigger than the rest, and it looks nicer too. I love how this room looks. Almost feels like you're in a cabin. All her clothes are still here. She had a lot of clothes and look! She has a dress! I can tell she really wanted to protect this because it's underneath some sort of cover. This is crazy. Like. You can just imagine how many events she went with it. Like family gatherings, family birthdays, trying to look all nice, you know what I mean? And now it's just here. It's quite sad if you think about it. Here's some greeting cards and postcards. Let's, let's read it. Wishing you a day when joy is in full bloom. Aww. There's postcards here sent from her family members saying like happy birthday grandma I love you and everything mm -hmm. like this one right here it says happy birthday grandmother it's a little note we love you from Jammy and John something's telling me those letters are probably around the time before she probably died probably there's a lot of them here she had a she had a big family huge family this for a special grandmother a family portrait picture oh well, like, dude they well, they loved her a lot, that's for sure. Yeah. It was like a What's this? Can't really make out what this says. Oh, I think it's um something religious. We have family photos here. This could have been a granddaughter of hers. Wow. This right here is super rare. This is the coolest find in this house. More photos. It's starting to get dark out. So I don't really want to be here for too long because our light will just shine and give us away. Not that like we get in trouble because this place, I don't know, there's no trespassing signs or anything. This place is really abandoned. There's a book right here on the opposite corner. A Peculiar Grace. I think I've heard of this book. Dang, look at that phone from AT&T. That's a beautiful vase. It's a baby photo. Oh, we got some jewelry back there. I mean, if there is a spirit in here, I want to be respectful as possible. I don't want to touch any belongings. Wait, what? You heard something, guys? Yeah, it's like rustling something. in the closet or something. In the closet? Yeah. Yeah, I see, I knew I wasn't crazy. I feel so, I feel like really cold in this room. And I feel like kind of warm in the other rooms. Uh, Wait, so let me feel. Right I like, also want some animal to pop out of nowhere. Dude, dude my, my arms are standing up right now. Oh yeah, you're, you're having goosebumps, bro. Look at that. Wow. Wait, let me, let me, let me stand there right now. <laughs> I mean, the grandmother Wait. passed away here. Like, maybe her spirit still lingers. Oh, literally, it's definitely still here. Your huh? arms are standing up too, bro. Yeah, you're getting goosebumps. The second we went into Dude, what room. the heck? Well, what about me? I'm wearing, I'm wearing so shit. Weird. Oh yeah, me too. You, you too. Yo, what the fuck? You too. But I don't even feel the goosebumps. Like, I don't feel cold in here, but my, my body's still reacting. My arm. Yeah, my body is reacting. What I the am. heck? Bro, dude. Can this, okay, can you hold this? Yeah. Dude, I can see the goosebumps. No, we're not cold. I'm wearing a jacket too. I'm wearing a hoodie. I'm not cold. I was in. Well, I was warm the whole time. Time when I'm. Yeah. Well, I don't. I don't. Room. I don't really feel anything. I, I'm like. But but like some something is happening to my body. Dude, like oh, bro, what dude. the what the fuck was that? Oh, I just felt touched on my leg. All right, I thought I heard something. Wait, did I touch your leg? Dude, I just what? felt like a little like. No way. No, I'm I dead ass, dead ass. I'm I'm not about like kid around with the paranormal and stuff no, like no, that. I don't even believe in it. We don't even do that type of no, stuff. No, we don't. I don't believe in it either. We're just exploring, guys. Wait, hold on. I just got... Dude, I'm getting goosebumps on my face. My entire upper body just got goosebumps. Yeah, maybe you got goosebumps on your face, too. Do you think this is where Grandma might have died? In this room? 
bro. My my hand. I'm not, I'm not even joking right now, but like I'm being dead serious. Like if I wasn't feeling, no, I'd like, be. I, I know. I know. I'm feeling the same way now. My whole body is, is like my neck is Whoa. cold now, and my this like so shoulders. Weird. My arms are still like goosebumpy even under my sleeves. Like holy you can check. crap! No, this is this is it's my weird. first time ever experiencing this, dude. Someone. Uh, you, I think this on. is where hold she on. died. She literally died here. There's something really cold right here. Now I feel it, and it's like overwhelming my body. Like my I face is getting goosebumps right now too. You can't move. No, like I'm like I'm like feel like I'm frozen. Like dude, I kind of yeah I had, oh, bro the ghost the goosebumps is still happening like. Throughout my entire body, this is legit, guys. Hundred percent true. Like we're I don't not, know what's not, happening in this room. This stuff we're up. not like we I'm not about to like bullshit not, you guys. I don't even believe it. And the weird thing is, we were hearing things in this room. I heard it. Yeah. Then you heard it. Yep. Then, I heard then we come in here and like, but there's no animal. No, no there's nothing here. No. There's no draft. Look, the no, windows. No draft. The windows. Look, the windows are completely sealed. The windows sealed. are sealed. Wait, can you? Open that? You gotta show them this. Yeah, no, it's it's no, it's sealed. Wait, it's let, let me see this. Let me see this. Yeah, look. So there's no draft coming in no here. No draft. It's at really all. cold. We're in the middle of summer. It is kind of cold right here. It's, it's like 70 degrees. Degree. It's 70 degrees out. Right? Dude, I think right here. No, right here. I can feel. Right I can feel a weird chill. In I can feel like like. Yeah. A cold fat. Are they cold? You're okay. I'm freezing. Dude, you're like <laughs> paralyzing. You look, you look like you're getting like possessed by something. Like I'm just hearing, oh my god. Like in the background. Man, are you okay? Yeah, man. <laughs> you're like shivering too. Dude, like you look frozen. It's not even that cold in here anymore. I mean, I'm in a hoodie, so. <laughs> you guys are Yo, Randy, if he gets possessed, we, we jump in that. <laughs> <laughs> No, like for real, man. I'm freezing, man. I don't know That's, why. It's bro, do your body. Yeah, outside. I can. I can Check tell. The Jesus stuff, and then get the heck out of here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's maybe we go to Jesus. We'll be. We need <laughs> Jesus. We all yeah. need Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go to the safe spot. <laughs> Jesus. All right. So a little. Oh my gosh! Yeah, it's super cold oh, here. Oh, it is. Look at that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it is cold. No so those are rosary beads or something? Yeah, uh, like, this is rosary beads. Are different. It's just like pearls. It's like a fake. chain of like Mary's. I'm so okay. Wait, wait. Well, okay. Oh yeah. So yeah, guys, we have uh some religious stuff. She must have been Christian or maybe a Catholic. Yeah. Well, but a chain of Mary. Oh, what's that? Blessed. Bestest Best grandma. grandma. Oh, that's really cute. Jesus stuff? There's one on the wind, uh, Come on, focus. Here. Why are you focusing, bro? Oh, that's weird. Oh, now it's... Now it is? Okay. No, it's not. It's not working. That's weird. Oh, we got some more photos here. An old photograph. Maybe I think like, it was this house, too. Actually, no, it looks... The table looks really big. Yeah. To be in this house. Oh, my gosh. You're going insane. Yeah. It legit does look like a demon cat. <laughs> <laughs> Here's more Jesus. And the prayer. That cat needs Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably one of her prayers she said oh. before she went to bed. Oh yeah, you're right. Wow. She would probably pray right here. Yeah, this looks like this is her, like this a praying space. I mean, there's a candle the, right there. Yo. They used to be light up. Wow. Yeah, yeah, oh, in one of the cabinets. Dude, what? No. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yo, it's a photo of one of the rooms. I think it was that's, this that's room. Her, no. No, the this other is room. it's this room. It's the other room. The other room. No, no, no. Cause look, the windows are exactly. The same as this. Uh, no, wait, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, no, it's, it's the same wallpaper because it has the ceiling on it right here, too. Okay. Yeah, this is the room. So this is an old picture of the room that we're in right now. So this bed was, like, set up right here before. Okay. That's in a big bed. So wait, this might have been Grandma's room. The other room was just... I don't know. Uh, this could have been Grandma's room. The weird thing is, though, it's like someone was laying here. Cause look at the pillow. That is it's it's it, yeah, it's indented. Like someone's head is sleeping here right right now. Um, I don't know. Nah, probably not. Uh, you know what? But yo, those are grandma's glasses. Those cause are the glasses. Those are the glasses that she said. Yeah, these are hurts. yeah, these are the same glasses as the grandmother from the photo. Well, we asked her. So yes. this could. Be we got more photos of the demon cat. When he wasn't a demonic cat. <laughs> this is his his pre. Yo, this, this cat looks. This is so cute, actually. I like know, it looks like cute. a lion, like a little is. puffy lion. He is. I don't even know what breed that is. The phone is like in the other room, actually. Oh my gosh, my camera's not focusing properly. Yeah. We got more of Grandma's shoes. She had big feet. She was fancy, yo. Yeah. 
We got a photo album right here. Oh, no way. Yes, why? Oh, no way. Wait, can you hold this light for me? We can kind of see a glimpse of her life yeah, back then. Of like the life that she led. Yes. Definitely had grandkids. Oh, yeah. Dressed as Zoro for Halloween, oh, maybe. Zorro? I love Zoro. Yeah, Zoro was the best. I was Zoro for uh, Halloween when I was Zoro. Me too. I'm only gonna show a few really quick ones because I don't know. I feel like just, just to keep like, their privacy, right. you know. Yep. We can show the demon cat off though. Actually, no, that's, a, that, different that's, that's, a, that's a different cat. That's a different, different cat. That's a different cat. Probably the cat before the demon cat. It's like the same breed. Yeah. She so probably like the same sort of the yeah. same breed of cat every single time. Oh yeah, horses again. No, it's stable. She had, she had a stable. There's a lot of horses yeah, it around like this the house. Or something. You see the artwork of the horse yep. and the vase with the horse. So I think she was really into that. Yeah, I'm not. I, the cold went away. Mm, yeah, I, I was it, literally. I was way warmer. Yeah, that thing. cold is gone. Who is that? Is that her uh, daughter? Maybe. Grandma's daughter. Granddaughter? Who knows? Nah, uh, not granddaughter. She's too old. Okay. <laughs> well. 2015. And it's cats. She loved cats. She that's loved for sure. cats. So cats. this maybe indicate when she may have passed away, perhaps. Dude, that's recent. Then. That's like almost six years ago. Yeah. So. Here's another hint that this could have been the grandmother's room too. Mm -hmm. I mean, she could have just stayed in any single room. This is her walker. Yeah. Right, we found her college pamphlet, so she must have went here. Auburndale. Yeah. LaSalle? LaSalle's a good college. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Alright guys. What a crazy exploration. I really did enjoy this house and it was such a weird experience with the crazy. cold chills. I mean, the grandmother did pass away there, so it's, <laughs> it, who knows? It, yeah, Her spirit could be still lingering inside this abandoned home. It seemed like this house of hers was really an, a, a memorable place where her and her kids would come and enjoy and have a good time. And she seemed like the best grandmother ever to her grandkids and family, so. Such I've never had that experience happen to me before with those cold chills. Yeah. Matt was almost possessed and paralyzed. Radica and I would have jumped. Through, my bro. body was shivering. Yeah. I couldn't explain it. I just happened. Shivers all over my body and then it's vanished out of the way. Dude, and I was, then a, I was, I was a, warm after that and I was I about can't. to knock you out like with my tripod. Oh like my God. Yeah. I thought you were gonna be possessed. I thought you were gonna be like Rah! and I was like, <laughs> like For real, right? <laughs> but anyway, let me know down in the comments your thoughts about it, what you enjoyed. Would love to hear all about them. I read all your guys' comments. I'll definitely check out the guys out too. Exploring with Matt and of course Radic. Links down in description. We're gonna go home. We're calling it a night. But yeah, I have such a busy week, guys. I'll be exploring down in Buffalo, New York. Uh, if any of you guys are from around there, definitely hit me up on the gram at Steve Ronan. Uh, I couldn't. Speaking of gram, I couldn't take photos of this place because it got too dark. I'll definitely come back here again. Uh, during the daylight hopefully soon, but yeah guys until next time live a life of freedom water And I'll see you all next adventure. Peace